Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Final Fantasy Reflexes video and today, well, unfortunately yet again I'm late on the news. So instead of going into it like I would every every time, other time, uh, since you've all seen it, I'm going to go more in, more directly. Now keep in mind this is not, I'm not going to be reviewing any of these units in this video. So if, that, if that's what you want, just wait until Thursday. Uh, I don't really touch up on the units too much, but I will talk about the banner itself and everything like that too so anyways 10 hour maintenance that's a long time yeah 10 hour maintenance that's pretty long knights of grand shell is finally here for all you guys who've been waiting for knights of grand shell for ages he is here he is premium of course we kind of already knew that so if you if you were coming into this thing and you didn't think that he was premium where where have you been he's been pre he was pre we, we know he's premium for a very long time so Renault and Angelo also included in the summon pool with boost without boosted rates. Okay, fine. There's a chance to get her as well, but don't count on that. So funny that they add they added this message down here. They've never done that before. Okay. Anyways, there is a buff. As you can see, a global upgrade. His STMR is the same. Didn't get a thousand mat uh, tag. Sadly, and his teamwork also didn't get upgraded, but his Lone Burst and his Brave Shift form did get upgraded, which is interesting. We'll have to see how that goes. Hopefully he gets more upgrades than that, and especially in his base form. His base form is basically just a vehicle waiting until he gets into his Brave Shift forming, because his base form is really not that good. And a lot of the time, you'll be seeing people shift him, to, you know, start in their shift form, his, their shift form, because the brave shift, the, the the base form is really just nothing special besides you who can equip uh, Tyvus's S TMR on, on his base form and use it and then switch over, basically is what you can do with that. So that's an option. So there's that. There's also Renoa and Neo Vision Awakened Squall. I know that's gonna be amazing for you guys. Squall is one of the, one of the better Neo Vision Awakenings ever, ever. He can be a chainer, and he can also be a side finisher, which is probably one of the best roles in the game. Um, you can make him EX3 pretty much easily because you can use Omniprisms if you've got a lot, a lot of them laying around as well. It's also good. So, definitely recommend ex 3 Squall. I don't need to review him for that. Uh, very good because his SLB is a one-hit finisher with high breaks. Uh, of course, not the best on global standards, but still good enough. And he's just, he's a very good unit, so recommend for sure. But if you want to know more, I'll review him as well. Of course I will. And the step up is the same as it always is, except no shards in the step up, so there's some in the shop instead. Very good. She didn't get any buffs, but she didn't really need any besides... It would have been nice for her not to be forced to equip Diabolos. And have like that passive where she can summon other people's espers. That would have been a lot better, but hey, it is what it is. Her STMR is very good for her, but it does not stack. Uh, if they did, if it did stack on global, it would be great, but it does not stack as of this video. If it does, that boost, that's a, that's a huge boost, but there's no global upgrade uh, icon here, so uh, I doubt that it's going to stack. Her TMR definitely get go ahead and get a bunch of those because eventually there might be more. There's there is technically two, three actually technically three units in the future that could benefit from this TMR, and I'm not going to list who they are because if you know, if you already know you know. Uh, in terms of if you're a fun of Hesiod fan, you know there's at least three that can benefit from this TMR here. I'm not going to say anything further. And Squall is getting upgraded, of course, like I mentioned, as S Teamer gets a Chronicle Battle. And a lot of other good things about him, so yeah. There's that. And here is the event. Pretty standard. I mean Zell gets an Evision Awakening as well, but it's that's next week apparently. Nothing nothing to sweat about really, because they're giving out Squall now. That's that's fine. And so yeah, that's good. And Zell's S Teamer is quite good. I can't show you right now, I don't remember it exactly, but it ha I think it has some killers or something on it, so it's quite good. I know I'm scrolling really fast, sorry about that. Here's the Chronicle Battle for Squall. 
uh, the the Galbia blade you're not going to be looking at at all, but the Lionheart Plus definitely going to be looking at because it does give some flat stats and some LB damage and things like that and TDH and stuff that I already had, but the 700, 750 flat attack, very good. So yeah, more story of this side story that they're doing. I think this is one of the last chapters though, but more lapis in there you got for you guys and then more story in general more season four chapter two part three and of course as always in my videos i don't talk about it at all because i don't want spoilers but there's just more story and here is the big contention for you guys here's the big contention this vision card is top of the line for physical attackers and you want to know why 100 lb damage 80 percent attack so you're pretty much going to be capped with this card on 130 flat attack at the start and also a 500 flat attack for an attacker unit that has an attacker role so just when the I use this vision card literally all the time on everything that I can use it on so there's no point not to using this vision card for you and, and, and <laughs> it really depends now if his if his gold bar is worth it but his vision card still is definitely top tier if you're a whale you're getting this vision card uh, I can already emphasize with that uh, because I did it on the tape version. His vision card is super good. And the top whales are going to be having this vision card. I don't know if there's whales out there that are going to get two of these. That seems... My head hurts even thinking about trying to get two of them. Oh my god. That's insane. Even for someone of my stature, that's, that sounds insanity. But expect whale teams to have at least one of these in the next uh, ranking event. And Renoa's vision card is fine for her. It's fair. It's not a premium vision card, but it's fine because it does give 500 flat stats for not only for her, for uh, Final Fantasy 8 units. And once again, certain units like to have this in the future, three in particular. There could be more, but I have three in particular that I'm thinking on the top of my head. Uh, if, you, if you, by the way, if you know the three of the one I'm talking about in the comment section down below, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll give you a heart for that three weekly five summon women to once per week so we're not getting a huge summon anymore but we're getting a summon keep in mind this is not i'm not going to say it's not special but the jp version does 10 pulls pretty much every every week now um i don't think there's been a time where there hasn't been a 10 pull anymore and i think that's a good idea it gets people to log in because the events are done very quickly and there's not much to do a lot of the time so having offering a 10 pull every single day is a very good option and so we might be saying oh look at this how special this is um but yeah we'll see we'll see how that goes um you could get some good stuff in there three percent fine oh here's well no this is not it yet not yet None of this stuff is really that... Oh, well. Here's the fixed size upgrade. Here's the fixed size changes. So fixed size will be kind of okay again. Um, obviously, the better one is re restricted to a unit that no one will ever use until he gets the Vision Awakening, of course. And Have. No one cares about Have. Um, backup unit. That's a very good accessory. Definitely very good. I wish other people could have that. And the, the, the left has sandals, this is not the one you want. It's okay, but this is not the one you want, guys. The one you want, are waiting for is the hat. With the 100% fire amp, which is free. Apparently people think that her, her thing is on EX3 for some reason. No, that's a free item that you can get. Just like you can get with all those items. Quake, what a meme. It's the 135% earth in peril at least. So if you need that for some reason, you could just single cast that. Just for the imperil alone i will say that i'll admit even though quake is a meme uh chaining family the 135 percent earth imperil is not too bad like just spending a turn to use that for for your earth damage dealer that might be not be too bad so i'm not gonna be too negative about that i'm gonna try to i put a positive spin on that at least and finally you want to look at the exchange shop there is fragments for nora and angelo in there of course there will not be any for the premium unit because he's premium so if you want to look at this shop only look at Renoa's fragments and if after you get those 
you can go for the crowns and the Mr. Crystal, I think. Because Squall can be UOC'd. What are you using them for nowadays? Not much. And everything else here? No, no thank you. So, yep. That's it, guys. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. What do you guys think about these banners? I know I got you guys hyped up for Renoa, but what do you guys think about her now? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below again. Thank you guys very much for watching. This was a very long video, but I went more in depth than I usually do because I had more time. It's not the morning right now for me. So anyways, see you later. Peace.